What an incredible time of the year for horse racing. It's 2000 guineas this coming Saturday, 4th of May 2024. It's the first of the British classics in the horse racing calendar. This race was first run in 1809. Of course, it's at New Market Racecourse, the iconic and historic course. And will this man be victorious again he hasn't had a winner in the 2000 guineas since 2019 last year august rodan really fancied that horse didn't do the business had a really poor run but then followed up and won the derby this year as one horse that everybody is talking about so let's look at him and his chances and a couple of others at slightly bigger prices for this year's 2,000 guineas. So, as mentioned, we start by looking at City of Troy, the horse that everybody is talking about. People comparing this horse to Frankel feels a bit early for that, but this horse could well be the next big superstar. Three starts, three wins so far, and all in good quality races, including last time out in October of last year at Newmarket in the Dewhurst Stakes, and his performance that day was electrifying. Of course, trained by the legend Aidan O'Brien, Ryan Moore has been on board for all three of his rides so far. I expect that to continue. It's a super, super short price. There's four to six, but it's four to six for a reason. If you look back at some of his performances, or all three, is, three of his performances, it looks really, really exciting, this horse. He really, really does. The last time an odds-on favourite won the 2000 guineas, was in 2011 and that was the legend Henry Cecil trained Frankel so I will be getting my money on this horse it's never a guarantee of course it is horse racing you just never know August Rodam like I say was hotly fancied last year for this race didn't didn't do anything but of course went on to huge things after that including the derby success but really really think that city of troy should should do the business here all depends how he feels on the day but it's such an exciting also are you on city of troy let me know yes or no city of troy So even though City of Troy is super skinny, still like him a lot. But one we're going to have a small punt at, at a bigger price. And this is a bit of a speculative one. It's Knight Raider, 16 to 1. If you watch both of his victories, and of his two starts so far, well, incredible. Miles ahead of the field, miles better than anything in that race. But the caveat is they were class 5s. This is a huge, huge step up in the 2000 guineas. Having said all of that, he, had, he looked like he had so much left in the tank in both those starts. He could, could uh, have potential to be better in cup potential to uh, run a good race in the 2000 Guineas. It's difficult to say. It's a bit like a Premier League team beating a, a conference team 5-0, I guess, the, the performance of Knight Raiders so far. But they, he looked like he had more in the tank. And I will put a little bet on him each way at a decent price of 16 to 1. Final selection of note, and quite like the look of this one. I'm really surprised he's as big as this. 20 to 1 Ghost Writer. 20 to 1 in certain places. I expect that price to contract a little bit uh, because he got a really, really good win last time out in the Roly Mile as part of the Royal Lodge Stakes at Newmarket. That was back in September last year. It was a good win. That's a good race, that to win. Unbeaten in three starts and steps up each time and look good each time. So certainly think Ghost Rider has a chance of uh, doing something in this race. 
and at that type of price um, certainly could get involved in the placings so like I say do like the favorite city of Troy but uh, Ghost Rider uh, yeah it's an interesting outsider that I'll certainly be having a little look at along with the aforementioned Night Raider so a quickly look at some recent winners of course Chaldean last year superb Frankie on board of course he's now off in America and doing some decent things out there. Some of the big names on there, of course, Churchill, Aidan O'Brien, Saxon Warrior on there, and of course, Frankel 2011, as mentioned the last time we saw an odds on winner of this race. But some interesting blender prices, obviously, some big prices on there. Night of Thunder in 2014 sprung a big surprise, and of course. McAfee as well in 2010 so we can see we could certainly rather see a big shock we'll, or we will see what happens but uh, yeah just sort of flash up some really big names there some really interesting recent winners of this race so good luck let me know what you're on it's gonna be a fabulous race again I am sure 1000 guineas video will be going up shortly as well so best of luck if you're having a go on that one and also a Punchers Town video as well. A couple of horses like the look at it Punchers Town as well. So take care, speak soon, and all the best.